More than six years since Claudia Lawrence vanished, her family have been given fresh hope that detectives are making progress. Three men in their 50s were taken into custody this morning, arrested on suspicion of her murder. Martin Dales, a long-standing friend of the Lawrence family, says they are remaining realistic about what this might mean. There is a feeling that, is this it? Or is this not it? Or is it something else? Or is it part of the way along the way to something? Uh, it, it's a very mixed emotional period that people go through. Claudia rang her mum from her home at around 8 o'clock in the evening on March the 18th, 2009. She has not been seen or heard from since. But although the investigation into her disappearance has been high profile and extensive, it's only really since the launch of a cold case review in 2013 that there have been a number of developments. A forensic re-examination of Claudia's house in 2013 found more fingerprints. Subsequently, two men were arrested, but there were no charges. This February, police focused their investigation on the alley behind Claudia's house and six years to the day that she was last seen, they released new CCTV footage of two people nearby. Five days later, one man in his 50s was arrested on suspicion of murder. He remains on police bail. Martin believes whoever knows what has happened to Claudia needs to listen to their conscience. It's very clear from what the police have been saying is that they're pretty sure that somebody's lying to them or hasn't told them enough the truth or any truth or partial truth or something uh, and that is despicable I mean if you were the person whose daughter's missing and you sat around for six and a half years trying to find answers uh, you know it's 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 soul destroying six years is a long time to wait for answers today's arrests suggest progress but Claudia's family must also face the possibility that detectives aren't any nearer to solving the mystery of her disappearance Police today have also been searching several properties in the local area, but they have asked us not to broadcast any footage of this activity in case it helps identify the suspects in custody and hampers their investigation. They've asked the same of the public, actually, to say don't put any pictures on Facebook or Twitter that might hinder this investigation. Just be patient, as the Lawrence family has been so patient, because, of course, as you've heard every day, that they do have a development like this is difficult, but every day when there is no explanation is even harder. Cathy, thanks a lot.